Hi guys, it's Mike again with you for a, a short while. I'll try and keep it 20 minutes this time. Just got carried away with wanting to get into orbit and that. And I did say last last episode I wasn't going to take some of these silly things. That's no indictment over the way anyone else plays the game. I mean, when 2-3 came out, I went for every single science point that I could find in every single biome. And when 2-4 came out, I had a short time where I was creating all kinds of weird rockets just to get silly contracts done before I realised you didn't really have to take them. You can just leave them there. There's no penalty. I mean, these have got an expiry date, but when that exp if you, as long as you don't accept the contract when that expires, there's no penalty. There's only these ones that you actually take. You know, we have to do these regardless within the. But I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of time to test us RT10 solid booster. Mel Kerman, that's got to be done, but luckily we have a launcher to do it. The launcher we just used is capable, hang on, I've just got to clear a bit of wreckage. Yeah, shall we can't just... And one of them is a flag. Okay, we can get rid of that. No, we can't rid of that, it's the one in, it's the one in orbit, that's one on the ground. A couple of extra little science points, a few parts. Yeah, I've played um, where I maxed the science tree and, you know, but I kind of ran out of steam because it's a shame we can't just swoop in and pick him up in it. It's such a shame. But at some point they're going to want science sent from in space. And I've got the ScanSat mod installed as well. So I'm going to quickly go to the science and just see at what point we can start using it. It's pretty much redundant without batteries. Well, without solar panels, batteries even you need plane parts at some point. Really eager to get out, that's a scan sat part. See these are brilliant, this is like a missing part of Kerbal Space Program satellite technology that's pretty basic. Um, like rocketry stuff, usually they uh, this is, you put one of these on one of your vehicles and um, it can then receive the data from this so you could put that on your lander after it's, this has mapped all the biomes and it will just quite happily uh, land using your map information obviously you've got to fly it but there's bigger s stuff, there's anomaly scanners as well we can have some fun with that go visit a few uh, anomalies but yeah it wasn't an indictment on the way anyone plays because I've done all kinds of things, I mean look at Scott Manley, he did that uh, in one mission in 2-3 one fantastic mission he just went straight through and just maxed the entire science tree but what do you do after that? you know the the way they've done it at the moment the science is just going to keep coming up the money's going to keep flowing you just got to make sure you're not too greedy so if I went out and did all the the biomes out there then when they want some science from space I've done it and there'd be nothing to gain by it I'm just wondering if it's worth putting it's obviously not a science mission so we can do without that 
down thinking something like this and this or even just up the other way that'd be quite interesting you've still got room on top to put parachutes I reckon about three of these on top Should pretty much bring it down using one for re entry and yeah, I should do it. Not sure what I'll do to its ability to take off, but this is what I wanted to do. We'll just call it Rescue One. Later on, we're going to have space planes that can just nip up there you know if someone's lost in orbit great right, get the space plane out and we'll just fly up pick him up bring him back down for free minus fuel this is going to be 14,000 to get him down so, I mean it's not a huge amount of money but I'm not going to bother saving this it's not a huge amount of money but it's you know, to keep repeatedly doing that, I mean, we make, we don't make a profit. I mean, basically, I'm going to try and undertake only flights that are going to give me a profit. A uh, fairly healthy profit, if I can help it. Ready, Jeb? Ah. Jeb, we have a problem. Let's just quickly revert you to launch now I see I thought that was sorted in the last hour ah, you know what it was in the last launch I discovered separatons were on here on the launch pad I changed it. I didn't. If I'd have reverted it to the hangar and then saved it, it'd have been a different matter. Don't want that. Yeah, I want that to be able to fire. Launch that. That and you. I might separate these actually because I think I might actually drop the whole chassis you now before I pop the chutes. Wait till we get a bit of height and then I'll kick the other engines in. Just let the boosters do the work for a minute. Anything over 200 whilst you're in this thick bit of blue atmosphere is just I'd 
love to actually see a few more controls inside the ship and like do a few more IVA flights you know, where you're just inside but Mark 10 cockpit has got a pouring view out of it throttle the higher the specific impulse of your engine so if you can assuming you aren't overloaded and you have to like use maximum throttle throttle as long as this is increasing I'm happy seem to have fuel we've got no RCS so it's going to be a pretty ropey transfer to pick him up I think Damn it, Mike, you should have took notice of where he was. He's behind us. Now, if he's behind us, we need to... We need a higher orbit. See, the higher you are, the slower you go. And that allows things on the inside track to catch you up. Just think of it like you know, lanes on a, a road and things on the inside track got a shorter distance to travel therefore they're travelling faster this guy could pick him up now it's pretty good that is um I think I put that on the wrong track Be fairly precise, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eyeball it this time. So we almost kind of get an intercept. I oh, do for now. I want to be higher anyway. It's going to take him a while. Huh? Take him a while to catch up. One minute. Let's skip some time. Could do sciencey stuff. Seconds of the day. Steady burn. Hey, 
I love that Kerbal Chatter. Kerbal Chatter is a must have mod, I think. Just for ambience. I mean, I tend not to add mods that give me an unfair advantage. They will change the game fundamentally in any way. I like to just um, try and keep it as vanilla as I can. Yeah, a bit more money. I decay too much. Decay. I'm a little bit tired at the moment. I've had some weird sleep patterns just lately. One of my boys has been a bit sick and he's been on like constant watch for a high fever. That's been uh, bothering me a fair bit. So it's kind of very hard to. Yeah, it's the reason I overran on the last episode. It wasn't just because I wanted to get into orbit, it was because. The timer that I had available, I was using to time going and checking on him regular. Anyway, about half hour, 45 minutes, maybe after filming that last episode of Kerbal, he, he broke his fever quite nicely and more or less over 20 minutes came back down to normal. Just bam, and he was out of there. And then just asking for a drink and went back to sleep normally. Is a relief, to say the least. Here yeah, we got close to getting him. Each time we orbit, this will close up distance, so that's what we're going to do. Let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, I've got my editing software back on board, my usual. So. Things are a bit better now, and I can resume Space Engineers as well. I mean, there's no point in me playing Space Engineers without editing because you know, for instance, just, you know, there'd be long periods, 20 minutes at a time, and not much happening at all. You know, you need to be able to just time skip those. I can't walk. Higher though, so we're bloody losing speed. He's losing more. I'm going to leave um dang thing one up for a little bit. Probably bring it down soon. But I'm hoping that maybe we can get a double capsule and do some stuff. Get a permanent space station up soon. Time skip, sorry. I mean, I should be able to actually time skip it some more with that in. Yeah, we're coming in nicely. We'll get it pretty close and then we'll refine it. I mean, yeah, if you've got low fuel, you're best off doing this method. If you try and do any other method, um, there is a few, you know, you can come in hot, so to speak. But it's one hell of a, a drain on your fuel to decelerate. You know, and you've got to be pretty precise with it. You can find yourself um, in trouble pretty soon trying to do that. This is by far the best way of doing it. Not as portrayed in the film by... I can't remember who made it now, Gravity. Where the space station's just over there and you just nip over to it. Also, didn't reinstall DayZ on my system. I was thinking of. I mean, that's a horrific game. That terrifies me. That game. If you want to hear me scream, then it'll probably be in DayZ. I mean, I'm familiar with Armor 2, so kind of got a. What's that? I bet you who's in there anyway. I bet it's Jeb. If it is Jeb, I'm going to build a contrap. Yeah, Jeb. 
I'm going to build a contraption. There better not be two kerbals in here. I bet one of these is. Yeah. One of these has to be empty. Only one sh kerbal showing up on there, so I'm presuming one's empty. Bloody better be. Hmm. I'll let you off, Jeb. But we we really haven't got the fuel to muck about. We may not even make this intercept. because there's going to be two intersects one of them is going to be there and one of them is there so we just got to nip round and 6.4 if I can get it to within three or two and a half we can transfer to him and he's on board quick as a flash we're down and I'll call it underneath us quite nicely. If I'd have actually took off when he was about 45 degrees from me, probably would have been more ideal. Probably would have only had to do one all bit. Maybe next time I'll tell you about going in nuclear bunkers.